Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 7. So today, I figured that we would go, and we would go into the band footage. And I figured that we would do a little bit of the Nightmare uh, one. So what we're going to do is we're going to play uh, Nightmare Mode. Just the regular one. See if we can get to... Uh, what do you call it? I think it's 5 o'clock. Because this game came out... And I think when the Five Night at Freddy's was uh, really popular. And they decided to do... <coughs> to do um, the survive until five o'clock, you know, kind of thing. Same thing. Um, but this one's kind of like the mercenaries. Uh, basically, you get you gotta survive using weapons, bombs, any anything that you can use. Oh, where am I? And that machine there in the corner is uh, how you make your money. So I have 115 uh, money right now. And you click these things. And it starts it. And uh, that will fill up eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this. And it shows you these are all the prices on the, on the right. Okay, so what we're going to need right now... Um, Is a handgun and a shotgun. Uh, the machine gun is also pretty good to have. But uh, let's buy some uh, machine gun ammo. Some shotgun ammo. And handgun ammo. And we should be good. Alright, so let's get started. You also have to buy things to open up that as well. And you can also uh, spend money to set traps and all that kind of stuff as well. So we're going to start this generator as well. Alright, so let's try and find some enemies now. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, we already got hit. That's not good. So the first round, they're pretty easy. And my aim is still crap, as you can tell. So this is at 400 right now. We're, uh, we're not going to touch that just yet, though. And the, and the round doesn't end uh, until um, each enemy gets uh, killed, so. Oh crap, I guess blocked myself into a corner, great. Oof. Oh boy. Alright, so let's pull out the shotgun.
Okay, so it sounded like there was a, uh, I could be wrong, maybe there's not a, uh, is there not a money machine in here? No, there's no money machine in here, okay. Oh. Another guy. Oh, oh. I didn't notice that guy there. Okay, so this is full. We now have a thousand money. That's good. Yeah, warning for you elements. Okay, so that's 900. That's fine. And then it's kind of like a last stand kind of thing for each round. This one was defeat all enemies and it goes red. Uh, once I go with red, that means all the machines are turned off. So, basically you won't make any money when the thing is red, as you can see. It's, uh... Oh, oh I hate these guys. Yeah, see, compactors have now stopped. Ooh. Wow. I'm not dying down here. Okay, so we're done now. We only have uh, four rounds left now. Okay, let's see your here. So corrosive, we don't really need that. Adrenaline, dying with this in your inventory revives you, letting you continue. Okay, so we're gonna want one of these. Actually, we'll get two of those because it does get pretty difficult later on. Um, the first aid, we'll get a bunch of them. Uh, okay, so let's get some enhanced handgun ammo now, and we'll buy the magnum. And we'll need that for later. So for now, let's, let's stick around with a handgun. Okay. Keep it together. Okay. You survived this far. It's also really easy to get uh, cornered, like in the later levels, so, oh. So he's gone. 600 scrap, okay. We don't want to touch that just yet. I tend to just go back and forth until I open up that room. Didn't mean to waste that. Okay, throw out eight hundred, so we don't need to touch that yet.
Okay, so this should be finished now. Yep. Oh, another thing to note is you can buy uh, during the matches as well, not just just before. I failed to mention that. And we don't need traps just yet. Probably won't need traps until maybe round three. So you have to beat Jack and you also have... To, oh no. Okay, so he's behind me. Fun. Oh. So we're gonna install that. Oh, I didn't see him behind me. Yeah, he's pretty fast. Okay, with pushing block, but that's cool. Oof. You're not blocking. Oh, you can block with the shotgun. Oh, I see, it just takes him a long time to block. What? Oh crap, I actually am. As you see, this is pretty difficult. I just think that was just round uh, two. When is this gonna be over? So this should be... Oh, that's not even close. Oh, let's reload this. And we got about 500, okay, so we can buy a shotgun ammo now. Whoa, 
with that guy. Oh, he blew up. Now you can run into those traps yourself, so you still want to be careful. Now we don't want to do this yet because the maximum upgrade for that is the, uh, the magnum. We're not going to want that until we get the big exploder guys or uh, the final jack fight. some health. Okay, I see here. Alright, and a crow, so we can open up the back door now. Okay, so we got the big guys. So this is kind of like a mini boss round. Oh, 
Okay, we should be safe now. Okay, I want to go home. Oh, whoops. Okay, so now we have three generators going, which is really good. Okay, so what do we want? Uh, some machine gun ammo. Um, hmm. Oh, we'll buy some shotgun shells. My question is why hasn't he kicked the door down or anything like that to get upstairs to get out? That's my main question. Oh, not right, these guys. Okay, so this one's full. Bad time to reload.
I can't remember if it's big guys again or not. Doing too good. Ooh. I don't think we have any handgun ammo. Oh, yeah, we do. Good. So I gotta chase him out of here. This hopefully it's full. Oh crap. Haha. My magnum my ammo? Oh, it's in the bottom. Now, is he dead? No, of course not. All right. Keep it together. All right. So one more round. This round gets pretty crazy. So we're gonna get two of those. Uh, let's buy the grenade launcher now. Oh, 
weapon. Crap, I didn't mean to buy that. Damn it, I messed up. Uh, whatever, I can buy the burner. When I'm done, I'm gonna burn this fucking house down. Because I actually meant to buy uh, grenade rounds, but oh well. Because that thing doesn't work very good. guys. Yeah, let's run how the bunch of these guys. Uh, I can't believe how bad I messed up. As you can see, the flamethrower is not good for pretty much anything at all. Yeah, this, this. Oh, I guess I unlocked that. Cool. Huh. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. But, uh, Nightmare is pretty fun. I have beaten it. Um, it does take a little bit of practice. And not making the mistake of buying the Flamer, like I did. Because honestly, that weapon is really bad. Um... The only thing that's honestly good for is literally, um, what do you call it, um, just the bugs in Marguerite's uh, little house. Uh, even then, to be honest, I wouldn't even waste the money on it, or not waste the money, sorry, um, <coughs> waste the materials to make the uh, flame ammo. Because as you saw in my previous, like in my playthrough, I mostly just made ammo for the grenade launcher, and I used the knife. Because um, you can use the knife if you, you can get close enough, but not, um, but just out of reach of the bugs uh, on the shelves and on the 
what do you call it? And on the um, and on the ca uh, cabinets, and you can just uh, slash the bugs off. The only thing that the flamethrower is good for is destroying um, basically the hives on the uh, on the walls and stuff. Other than that, it's honestly is such a wasteful weapon. But, uh, yeah, so that was Nightmare Mode. Uh, we probably would have beaten it, or at least got a little bit farther, if I didn't make the mistake of buying the Flamer by mistake. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, it is pretty fun to do. Uh, it can get pretty challenging. Especially in the early stages, before you have a lot of the things unlocked. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, um... Uh, Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment for sure. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Resident Evil 7.